Hey guys, I'm here with Maddie from Stromer. This is the Designio X20. And I saw this, I was like, Designio? And then you told me Stromer bought them. Yeah, yeah? Stromer uh, basically bought this company a year ago. It's a Spanish e-bike brand. Sweet. And uh, it's a, I, I fell in love with it. We only have two of these now in the US. Later in the year, we're gonna get a few more. <laughs> yeah. And there's also a gravel version of this as well. Oh, so. Wow. Uh, uh, but this is the one that we have here showcasing, getting a little, little bit more feedback mm -hmm. and, and, and how people are feeling it. But that, as I said, it's a really sleek looking bike, class one, 20 miles an hour with the pinion gearbox and the Mala X20 system. Huh. So a lot more simplified version if you think of Sturmer as yeah. a traditional, more heavier commuter. Uh, yeah, but I, 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 see, I see the potential with this and, and the feedback that we've been getting in this show has been really fantastic. It's a very smooth ride, well made, everything is just beautiful and slick and operates really nice. Nice paint, you know, so this is an aluminum frame? It's an aluminum, aluminum alloy? Yeah. We also get it also as a carbon. I so wondered. This is 30 pounds, so it's still pretty light with an aluminum, but yeah. the, the, the carbon frame is gonna be 25 pounds. Is the battery removable or is, I'm guessing it's no, in the that's, down No, that's in the down tube, but then the another thing is if you want a little bit more range, you can attach another battery here. I wondered, you got like a little range Yeah, extender. exactly. So cool. that's a nice thing about it, but you know, I, I see it as a lightweight, city use, New York City or whatever, you could want to bring it to your flat and that's how I see it, kind of like the user needs. And with the pinion, so you can shift it standstill, looks like this has yeah. nine This nine has gears. Nine, nine gears, yeah, so this yeah. is nine speed. Look at that, and, and it's the, all the right The beauty here. of the pinion, uh, probably, you probably covered a little no, bit No, go for it, pinion, man. But I, anyways, the beauty of it is that, you know, you can downshift when you're in traffic light and you don't yes. have to worry about, you know, upshifting or downshifting, so that's the beauty of it. And then the nice other thing about pinion is that, you know, it's very low maintenance. Yeah. Compared, especially with e-bikes, you have a lot of, you know, stretch for the for the chain and... Yeah. and Even the cables. At, yeah, you get a in. lot of, you know, wear and tear, but with the pinion, you just do an oil change every couple of thousand miles and that's pretty much it. Sweet. And these belts are just amazing. Gates, carbon belt drive, you got the CDX so it's not gonna go off track. Exactly. Really clean, quiet. I mean, it, it is a beautiful bike. Mm -hmm. um, I wanna hear a little bit about more about the motor. Can you, can you share like the, the power rating on that and like, the brand and uh, stuff? Yeah, it's a Mala 250 watt motor. Yeah. Uh, and uh, X20 is the, is the motor and then we're also gonna have, with the gravel bike we have the, I have to remember, X30. X30? Or X35. Does the gravel bike have like some drop bars, flare drops or yeah, something? Yeah, it will have the drop bars. It's yeah. a green in color. Huh. Check out the, the Signio Instagram or website. You can see a little bit more what's going on there. Nice, nice fenders too. Yeah. Really tight, clean, integrated lights, supernova. Of course, all that. This is all top shelf. <laughs> I know, right? And it was a, it was a beautiful story. It was like this smaller shop in Spain, and then Stremer bought the company, and and now they're ramping up the production there. And and it's a big hit in Germany, for example. They're selling really well. Yeah. And the feedback that people are writing it, and it's been here also, that, that they love it. Yeah. And initially, I was kind of feeling myself that like, I'm so used to the Stremer, 28 miles an hour, full sure, speed, yeah, you know? flying. You're flying out, and this is 20 miles an hour, class one. But now that I've been riding more this bike, I just literally, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Very stealthy too. I mean, a lot of little attention to detail with this almost teardrop shaped or wing shaped spacer and just a premium look. We got the Ergon name brand grips, perfect headlight positioning. It's up high, points where you steer, supernova, super bright. Nice fork. Carbon fork. I was wondering, yeah. yeah, not surprised on that. So good weight, weight position, low and center on the bike. And you mentioned how light it is. Interesting pedals too, very stylish. This is cool. So this is gonna be available in the United States and globally, we're, or? Yeah, we're, we'll have it uh, most likely Q3, Q4 this year. Back at electricbikereview.com, I have covered some of these older ones. I went over to the United Kingdom and I, I checked out to Signo and I thought, this is really unique. I'm loving how Strummer's bringing this over. I've got a compare tool so you can see like the old versus the new, some of the other stats, and then some of the shops that carry this. Because with Stromer, you're getting that distribution. Yes. So that's exactly. fantastic. Love that you also squeezed in some bottle cage bosses down here. And again, just how minimalist and stealthy it is. I think this is kind of the control pad. You like press it and you can dial up the uh, yeah. level of support. Yeah, very simple. It's just a one one button that you press. Like in Stromer, you have the Omni there, and then you just, you know, you can adjust the, uh, the level of assistance that you get, and then, and then all that. There's a lot to this bike. I wanted to show some of the specs here and call out the 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes that it comes with. I'm very impressed with how light these are. They feel and they look like a traditional, like non-electric bike. And it appears that it comes in a couple different sizes. We got large, medium, 
And then they also have this comfort size, which is kind of a mid-step, so a little bit more approachable, and they've got a, a profile or a silhouette of a woman there. Wow, okay, well, thanks again. Can't wait to try it. 